Hello everyone, this is Eunice Leong Mei Sun here. So I am uh, going to introduce a few browser today. Um, we are moving into online teaching and a lot of teachers are going into uh, trying to use uh, teaching and learning lessons over the internet or right, through either Google Hangout, Zoom, Skype or Microsoft Teams. So um, I want to introduce a few simulation website that I've been using lately and I actually hope that uh, other teachers will be able to make their classroom even more interesting and it will be easier for students to uh, understand the lessons as well. So for today, the uh, applications or simulations that I'm going to be using are actually related to light, more specifically the concave and the convex uh, mirror. So uh, let's go into the websites right now. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is one of my favorite website, the Fat Interactive Simulation. It's actually created by uh, lecturers from University of Colorado Boulder, and there is also contribution from a lot of teachers around the world. So for Fat Simulations, you can choose the type of simulations you want. You can uh, also find out how to actually use the simulation. If you are a teacher, you can actually uh, sign in, and they will you'll be uh exposed to uh, activities that can be used for each of the simulations. So um, another simulations that I will use is actually this oldphysics.com. I'm going to share all the links out at the description below so you will be able to get the description. All right. Uh, another applications that I go into is this one. This is a physics animation. So there's a lot of animations here, simulations as well. Uh, there are also some experiments over here, so it can actually help a uh, physics teacher, chemistry or biology or even general science teachers to teach in the class. Alright, so uh, there's another uh, apps that I actually, the uh, simulation website that I actually use is actually this sim bucket. So uh, also there's a lot of different different types of simulations here. Okay, so um, let's go into one by one now. Uh, Fast simulation is actually one of my favorite simulations that I always use uh, for a few years now. Okay, uh, for this particular fast simulations, uh, there, as you can see on the left hand side, this particular uh, structure, they actually allow you to choose what kind of subjects you want. You can also choose the grade level. All right, or you can choose the compatibility, right? That's HTML5, which means you can access the internet, uh, the simulations over the internet browser. That's Java and also that's Flash, but it has to be downloaded. All right, the app, the simulation has to be downloaded and to be run on the computer. So um, I will normally go into simulations that I can directly use online so that my students can get the URL link and they will be able to use uh, the simulations at the same time as well. So um, for that simulation for today, I won't be using the simulation for uh, the concave and convex mirror for fat simulations because as you can see the geometrical optic simulation is actually using the flash sim which means i need to download it all right so um i'm not going to be using this i'm going to use another website all right uh this physics animation there is a lot of animations over here so um what i do is normally i'll just click ctrl f i find and i click right type mirror up here and I just enter that and it will highlight the mirror simulation. We have a concave mirror here, we have concave mirror again, and then we have a convex mirror over here. So I'm going to click on the concave mirror. Okay, so concave mirror is this. I'm going to talk about the uh, simulations in a short while. Another one that I mentioned just now is this Sims bucket. So Sims bucket, a simulation, all you have to do is choose the category, it's physics. And again, if you want to make it fast, you can just control F, which is control find, type mirror, and directly it will bring you to the mirror simulation. So I just have to click that. All right, so it's loading right now. Okay, and here is the simulation. I have to click on the simulation and it will actually launch the simulation. So that's another one. All right. The third simulation that we can actually use is actually the old physics simulation. Over here, you can see there's a lot of different, different categories, a lot of uh, 
topics that you can choose so uh, I directly opened it just now so you have the concave and the convex mirror so I'm going to be reviewing and explaining how each of this simulation goes uh, it's up to you how you want to use the simulation uh, you can actually use all three uh, like what I did but there's pros and cons for each of the simulation because uh, the simulation was created for general use so there are elementary schools which is primary school in Malaysia then there is high school equivalent to our secondary school there is also college usage so there will be some words inside there but for all physics this particular simulation I find it to be very clear all right and direct okay so I'm just going to refresh this Okay, it's refreshed already. So what we can do, this is actually mainly for concave mirror. Alright, so for concave mirror, what you can change, alright, things you can change. Number one is actually the focus, alright. When you drag the focus, you can change the focus, alright. Either this is 6, I think if I'm not wrong, it should be 6 cm over here, alright, or change it to 4 cm. So when you change the focus position, the center of the curvature is also being changed at the same time. You can't change the center of curvature. You only can change the focus. It will directly change the center of curvature. Okay. Uh, or another one that you can change is actually the height of the object. All right. The height of the object, the distance of the object, and then you can see automatically the image will change at the same time as well. So I'm going to bring this closer and you can see this is how it happens for concave mirror and when you another interesting fact to see is that when you drag and move this around you can see this is the object distance do is the object distance it's more than two focal length all right because two focal length is actually the center of the curvature uh, then the height distance when it change all right the object distance and our image distance will directly change as well okay so you can actually have a look over here so uh, you can drag this and your students can immediately see how does the image form, where is it form, alright, the characteristic of it is also uh, given over here. Alright, but the only downside that I don't really like regarding this since I'm teaching uh, physics SPM, alright, that's in Malaysia physics, is that normally we will ask students to draw the arrow, the arrow for every single ray diagram. As you can see in this particular simulation, we can't really see the direction of the arrow moving, alright, but uh, it, in a way this simulation actually helps the students to identify the characteristic of the image form. Alright, let's go to the next simulation. Alright, this particular simulation from Sims Bucket. Uh, I'm going to change this. This is lens. I'm going to change this to mirror. Okay, so what else can we change? We can change the object. Either you want to use the candle, the arrow, or you want to use ABC. Uh, by using ABC, your students will be able to directly see that it is inverted or it is upright. Okay, so we can also change the focus. Alright, over here you can change the focus. Alright, uh, this distance is written on the right or you can change the height of the object again the minute you change the focus or you change the height the image will also change as well so uh, one thing I like about this particular simulation is that let's see if I use arrow all the ray diagram has the arrow drawn already all right the direction of the ray diagram is already drawn for you so in this case I love this particular simulation a lot because I can if I want to sh teach students how to draw each ray diagram I just have to click on this ray 1 parallel to the principal axis and then it reflects back through the focus point ray 2 is passing through the focus point and then parallel back to the principal axis and then for ray 3 uh, it goes to the center and then it bounces back up. So these are the three rays that we can actually draw. Okay. Um, for SPM syllabus case, we use three ray diagrams, which is parallel to the principal axis, pass through the focus point. Second ray is passing through the focus point, and then it will reflect back uh, parallel to the principal axis. And the third point is actually from the object passing through the center of curvature and towards the mirror and it reflects back the same line but you can see that the third ray doesn't pass us through the center of curvature which is at 2f over here so that's the only downside for this particular simulation but for me it's good enough all right 
All right, let's go to the third simulation. The third simulation is this. Now, this simulation is a little bit more complicated to see because there are uh, uh, the formulas over here. All right, for form five KBSM physics students or form four KSSM physics students, they um they learn to draw first, then the formula later on. But for as uh metrics or probably the pre university level uh it shouldn't be a much of a problem over the year so okay so i'm gonna just gonna reduce the size i noticed that the size is i'm just gonna reset this okay all right i can't really reset that all right now my okay that's a little bit disturbance for me okay as you can see we can change the unit in cm or millimeter or decimeter or meter uh then this one okay the parabola approximation okay so um this particular part i will normally ignore for spm level okay so for this particular simulation again um because uh spm level we want students to learn how to draw the ray diagrams so all you have to do is actually click all this all right and then you can adjust the object's height or you can change it to a one or a lady all right height of the object you can increase this this way okay and then this one will actually change the distance of the mirror okay i'm just gonna put it there so uh in order to teach students how to draw the ray diagram so first ray is actually this as you can see the arrow goes to the mirror and it bounces back off so this one okay all right it bounces there Okay, let's see. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still going through all the simulations. Okay, so if you know how to do it or anything, you can actually let me know about that. Okay, the next simulation is this one. This is passing through F and then it bounces back in. Okay, so that's the second uh, line that we actually read that we actually ask students to draw. Okay, then the third one is from the object's head passing through the center of curvature and bounce back so this simulation actually lets students know how to draw the ray diagrams based on what we want them to draw in SPM level all right that is parallel to the principal axis passing through the focus point and then passing through the focus point and parallel back to the principal axis so uh, this is actually uh, the three simulations that I use for teaching my students how to draw the ray diagram over the internet all right, and then I will send a link to them and then ask them to draw the ray diagram based on what I want them to. So um, that's all that I'm going to be sharing for today. So if you have any comments, you can please let me know. So if you are a teacher out there, please know that there are a lot of free simulations that is being created online and make sure that you go and find all the simulations that can be free to use all right um just remember one thing every single time you use someone else's intellectual property make sure you refer back to them or you attribute back to them or if like for me um i actually use all the simulations i will have it down in my description below and i will sh uh, connect the link back to the rightful owner so their intellectual property is very, very important to be respected. All right. So um, again, that's all for me today. Uh, do follow me uh, on my Facebook page. Subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. That's Eunice Leong Meisan. And also my Facebook page is also with the same name, Eunice Leong Meisan. I have my links down below. So if you have any questions for me, please do comment. Or if you have any things that you want me to cover on, please also comment down make sure you click on the subscribe so that you can get a uh, notification on my next video so that's all for me today thank you very much bye